The book that I'm doing for my book talk is The Shining by Stephen King. I decided to read this book based off of a recommendation from my uncle who got it for me for Christmas and he had read it and thought it was really good so I decided to try it. So the plot of the book is about a family of three. A little boy named Danny who's the main character in this book and his father Jack and his mother Wendy. They are very poor and Jack used to have a job teaching at a private school and was really happy. But then he got in trouble because he has a temper and he got in trouble for kind of lashing out and ended up getting fired from his job. So they ever since have had really big like money problems and have been super poor. So in order to make a little bit of money, Jack, Wendy, and Danny decide to become the caretakers of the Overlook Hotel, which is a remote hotel in Colorado. And... They will be taking care of the hotel over the winter, which means that there will be no one else there and they will be completely out of range of like cell phone and vehicle. They'll be basically snowed in for four months together um, inside of an old hotel. It's all going really well, but then all of a sudden, Jack starts to kind of go crazy. And pretty soon it just starts to kind of spiral out of control. And Jack starts to lose his mind and almost think about murdering his family. Now, I'm not going to reveal anything else because I might ruin the book, but I will read you a quote. The world's a hard place, Danny. It don't care. It don't hate you and me, but it don't love us either. Terrible things happen in the world, and there are things no one can explain. Good people die in bad, painful ways and leave the folks that love them all alone. Sometimes it seems as if it's only the bad people who stay healthy and prosper. The world don't love you, but your mama does, and so do I. So in conclusion, The Shining is a really good book, and I would recommend it to anyone who likes kind of thriller suspense books. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you.